water breathing. Most people consider Sakonji Orokodaki to be the master of the water breathing technique, having taught many notable students including Tanjiro and the current water hashira Gyu Tomioka. The technique is the most beginner friendly, which is perhaps why Tanjiro was able to pick up this breathing style without having any knowledge of fighting beforehand. Tanjiro relies almost exclusively on water breathing for the majority of Demon Slayer's first season, allowing him to take care of most tough demons by remembering his teachings and understanding when to pull off the techniques he's learned. While water breathing does help Tanjiro out in the early stages, he reaches his limit with this style during his fight against Rui, where the lower rank 4 demon shows just how hopelessly outclassed the protagonist really was. In season 1 of anime, we get to see Tanjiro use 10 different water breathing forms. During his fight against Kyogai, Tanjiro found himself at a disadvantage due to the revolving room where he had to fight this powerful demon. However, he unleashed a splashing water flow, which allowed him to deliver powerful slashes without having to stay still on the ground for too long. This complex footwork is hard to execute, but Tanjiro's zeal allowed him to get the better of his foe and deliver a fatal slash that decided the victor of this battle once and for all. One of the coolest water breathing techniques was pulled off by Tanjiro in his fight against the lower moon Rui. After being pushed to his limits, Tanjiro unveiled his powerful 10th form, Constant Flux. This 10th form allows users to execute a continuous flowing attack, taking on the form of a water dragon as they did so. Each consecutive sword slice became more and more powerful due to the force of the momentum that increased with each rotation. The strongest water breathing form that we got to see so far is 11th form Dead Calm. This unique water breathing technique is the original handiwork of the water hashira Gyu Tomioka. Watching this 11th form in action against Rui was a visual treat for the ages. Number 5. Thunder Breathing it has been marked by Zenitsu that this breathing style focuses on channeling strength into the user's legs and maximizing the output of every single muscle and blood vessel in them. Users also mimic lightning to such high fidelity that they can cause the air to vibrate when poised to unleash a technique and create immensely loud sounds akin to thunder with their mere footsteps. A known cultivator of thunder breathing in the Demon Slayer core is the former Thunder Hashira Jigoro Kuwajima. He taught this breathing style to Zenitsu and Kaigaku. Thunder breathing has six standard forms in total, with the first form said to be the foundation for all the other forms. However, Zenitsu developed a seventh form in order to stand on equal ground with Kaigaku, his former senior disciple who had become the upper rank six of the 12 Kizuki. While Thunder breathing has seven forms in total, Fans have been mostly seeing only the first form, Thunderclap and Flash. Zenitsu honed this form to perfection, ultimately developing three variations, Sixfold, Eightfold, and Godspeed. Godspeed is one of Zenitsu's strongest techniques. It's essentially the first form while greatly augmenting the speed of the technique. During the first display of this technique, an unconscious Zenitsu remarked that he mustn't perform this technique more than two times, otherwise his legs would be rendered. He later created 7th form Flaming Thunder God himself, which allows him to dash forward at blinding speeds and unleash a singular forward slash, which is seemingly accompanied by a yellow Japanese dragon shaped like a lightning bolt. Number 4. Stone Breathing In Demon Slayer, we have only ever seen one user of the stone breathing style. The only user of this style is also undoubtedly the strongest Demon Slayer in the current generation, Giyome Himejima. The Stone Pillar. The techniques of stone breathing are often simple, but very strong attacks that can easily break rocks and stones, and in one instance, even able to break the weapon of the Upper Moon Demon. In addition, the techniques also offer fairly good defensive stances that allow the user to stand their ground and create a seemingly impenetrable barrier that can prevent even the strongest attacks from piercing through. While the techniques and style themselves may appear to be quite mundane, it's when they are used by Giyome in combination with his weapon that makes this style truly unique and fearsome. Giyome utilizes a rather unconventional Nichiren weapon instead of a standard katana. Giyome favors a spike flail and axe combination that is joined via a long chain where the entirety of the weapon, including the chain, is made of the same material used in making Nichiren blades. Stone breathing has five known techniques and forms which were all performed by Giyome during the fight with upper rank 1 Kokushibu. One of the most interesting forms in my opinion is the third form, Stone Skin, which allows a user to unleash a series of slashes with his axe deflecting nearby attacks. Number 3. Flame Breathing 
Most of the flame breathing techniques are powerful single target strikes accompanied by a rapid undirectional movement. Flame breathing allows the user to move extremely quickly and even fast enough to produce after effects that mimic flames. This makes the opponents burn, causing further damage after the initial attack lands. During the events of the Mugen train arc, Rengoku was able to move through several train cars in an instant, and when defending civilians, he alone was able to protect up to 9 train carriages by himself while a lower number required Nezuko and Zenitsu to team up. This is even more impressive considering Zenitsu used Thunder Breathing, which focuses on quick and rapid movements, but was still unable to keep up with Rengoku. During Rengoku's fight with Akaza, upper rank 3, we see him performing a total of 6 forms of the Flame Breathing style. In total, there are 9 forms, 3 of which were not revealed. Rengoku's 9th form, Purgatory, is the strongest flame breathing form. The technique had enough power to carve a deep impression that burnt the ground where it was unleashed. This technique seemingly took the form of a fiery Japanese dragon that envelopes the user while charging towards the target. Number 2. Moon Breathing This technique allows the user to create many chaotic blades when slashing that vary in length and size. Like all of the other original breathing styles, the moon breathing also branched out of the sun breathing. When its creator, Michikatsu Tsugikuni, attempted to learn the sun breathing from his twin brother, Yorichi, he discovered he was unable to master the breathing style and was instead trained in an alternate breathing style. Yorichi created it to fit his individual strengths and weaknesses, and Michikatsu then continued to train and develop this breathing until it eventually evolved into its own unique breathing style, which he named Moon Breathing. It is known that Kokushibo continued to develop and add techniques to this breathing style over the centuries as an immortal demon. It is the only known breathing style to possess at least 16 different techniques, easily surpassing the other styles. This breathing style is only used by upper rank 1, Kokushibo, who was one of the first demon slayers who utilized total concentration breathing. When he became a demon, he improved his breathing style using his blood demon art, which he used to create dozens of tangible crescent moons from his sword, each of them as sharp as blades, making this breathing style one of the most powerful in the entire series. Number 1. Sun Breathing The Hinokami Kagura is a breathing style that is passed on from father to son in every generation alongside the Hanafura earrings. The Kamado family uses the breathing style within a ritual ceremony practiced every new year, where the breathing style user offers the fire god a dance from sunset to sunrise to ward off threats and diseases. The Hinokami Kagura is later revealed by Shinjiro Rengoku to be breathing style known as sun breathing, a legendary and forgotten breathing style and the first one ever created. All other breathing styles are derived from it as the result of Yorichi, the creator of sun breathing, modifying it to suit the individuals he taught. Both the Hinokami Kagura and sun breathing are breathing styles that mimic the sun and replicate it with the user's movements, techniques, and abilities. All techniques and forms are extremely varied and have no set pattern, making it the most versatile and effective against demons. Sun breathing was initially created with 12 techniques all connected to one another by Yorichi. Later upon meeting Muzan Kibutsuji, Yorichi perfected his swordsmanship form, creating a new unnamed 13th form. The 13th form allows Yorichi to continuously perform all 12 forms of sun breathing in repetitive succession to increase the accuracy and agility of his movements while reducing fatigue. The repetition of all 12 forms aims to destroy Muzan's 12 vital organs.